The Blues bagged their first home Premier League win over Southampton since December 2017 in spectacular fashion to reach the summit of the table at the time of recording. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on yesterday's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. This is my review of the match that took place yesterday afternoon at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League between Chelsea and Southampton, which Chelsea ended up winning by three goals to one. And as you guys can tell, I'm really happy. But anyways, so what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly, I'll run you through the lineup that Thomas Tuchel fielded at the start of the match. I will then be giving you guys my thoughts on the match itself and I will all, sorry and as always I'll be breaking it down into the first half and the second half and in addition to that I'll be giving you guys the positives and the negatives that I took from the match and lastly I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on how we have done um, going into the upcoming international break so without further ado let's get straight into this review let's do it guys so we begin this review by taking a look at the lineup that Thomas Tuchel fielded at the start of yesterday's match against Southampton. And as always, we're going to kick things off by talking about the formation in which he chose. And um, yes, it was a 3-4-3 slash 3-4-2-1. I'm not going to lie to you guys, when I was on my way to watching the match in the venue that I ended up watching it in, I did see that one football displayed it as a 3-5-2 because um, they put Trevor Chalibur in midfield um, and they put um, Cesar Aspilicueta in the right centre-back position and they put um, Callum hudson Odoi at right wing-back with Romelu Lukaku and Timo Werner um, up front as a two but um, yes it was a 3-4-3 Slash three four two one. Yes, I've just revealed some of the players who were in the lineup, but I'll run you through the lineup. Um, that was. Um, I'll run you through the personnel that was um, selected, according to what the actual formation was, um, because it wasn't a three five two, um, like I said, it was a three four three. But yes, Thomas Tuchel went with Edouard Mendy in goal. He went with a back three of Trevor Chalobah. Thiago Silva and Antonio Rudiger. He went with a midfield four, including the two wing backs from right to left of Cesar Aspilicueta, Ruben Loftus Cheek, Mateo Kovacic, and Ben Chilwell. And he went with a front three from right to left of Timo Werner, Romelu Lukaku, and Callum Hudson Odoi. So that is the lineup that Thomas Tuchel fielded at the start of yesterday's match against Southampton. Now, we get into my thoughts on the first half and I couldn't be happier with the way we started the match. We were excellent. We flew out of the tra sorry, we flew out of the traps really quickly. Um, we put Southampton under bags of pressure. I know I use that phrase quite a lot, but yes, we really did put them under bags of pressure. They couldn't handle it. And in the ninth minute, we got the goal in which our brilliant play deserved. It came from a corner that was taken from our right hand side. Um, I think it was Ruben Loftus-Cheek who flicks it on with his head and Trevor Chalobah was there at the far post or his near post or the keeper's near post, whichever way you want to look at it, guys. And um, he just headed the ball home and it was just great to see him score. Great header. That was a poacher's header, a striker's header, if you like. But it was a great goal and um, the celebration wasn't bad either. Didier Drogba would be proud of the way he, he did that knee slide. It was just so clean. But yes, great goal. And after that, we didn't let up. We threatened more um, goals. And in all honesty, um, in all honesty, we should have had two goals before half time. And you guys probably know what I'm talking about. I'll get onto it in a second. Um, we did create some great chances. 
um, Aspilicueta got the ball down our right hand side on, a, on an occasion and he did put the ball into the, into the box for Romelu Lukaku but one of the Southampton defenders cleared it for a corner um, it was a great opportunity for Romelu Lukaku to get himself on the score sheet um, and I'm not going to lie to you I did feel as though um, Southampton did do their best to try and shut him out of the game because he didn't really get too many opportunities to feed the ball to the players around him nor did he get too many chances in the first half um, but yes um, we were very threatening in the first half and the, the one the goal that I was going to talk about that got disallowed is the Timo Werner one. Um, it was some great play. But honestly, honestly, guys, um, if that challenge on Cesar Asper, if that challenge from Cesar Asperquetta, if you can even call it a challenge on um, whatever Southampton defender it was, if you can call that a foul, then anything's a foul. Because I'm sorry, never in... Never in the world of football is that a foul. I'm sorry, it didn't even look as though Cesar Aspilicueta touched the Southampton defender. And that was in the first phase of play that resulted in the um, Timo Werner goal that got disallowed in the first half, of course. And they took it back after he headed the ball home. And um, the celebrations were cut short because they disallowed it for what I didn't see as a foul. Um, but we we still went into half time with a deserved lead. Southampton did have some decent. They did have some half chances, but they didn't really threaten us. If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I was expecting them to to do a lot more. But we did defend really well and and stopped Southampton from really creating any um real clear cut chances but overall I felt as though it was a great first half performance and like I said already we were um deserving of our um position at half time but now for my thoughts on the second half um Southampton did make a tactical switch which um saw them go to a back three if I'm not mistaken I think they changed to a three five two in the second half um and they really did make it very difficult for us to play through certain areas of the pitch, i.e. the middle. Um, and in the towards the middle of the um, second half, they got their equaliser through um, through James Ward-Prowse. And I have to say that it's a stonewall penalty. I don't know what Ben Chilwell was doing tackling like that in the box. He got nowhere near the ball and he... He completely took out Tilo Livramento. Poor challenge. Deserved penalty. No complaints about that. Um, and James Ward Prowse sent Edouard Mendy the wrong way um, by sticking it into the bottom left corner on his side. And I I cannot say that they didn't deserve it because they did put us on the back foot at the beginning of the second half and did rack up some decent chances. But after that, I felt as though um, there's one before I get into the second goal, there's one thing that I need to mention. Um, James Ward Prowse, he got him, he got himself sent off. Um, it's a debatable one, but I can understand why he got sent off. Um, it was a dirty challenge. It was very late. He caught Jorginho, who did come on for um, Ruben Loftus Cheek, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he he caught Jorginho and got nowhere near the ball. And if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to look at this again. But I'll say, if I'm not mistaken, it was a two-footed tackle. And um, the referee initially gave James Ward-Prowse a yellow, which I can understand. But he overturned it and gave him a red. And I'll, I'll say it again, I can understand why he got given a red, um, given the way in which James Ward-Prowse lunged in. But yes, um, Thomas Tuchel brought on some more players from the bench. He brought on Ross Barkley. And if I'm not mistaken, who else came on? Jorginho came on, Ross Barkley came on. Um, God, my memory is terrible. Um, oh yeah, and Mason Mount came on, and I think all three of all three of them helped us really get a foothold in the game again. I felt Jorginho had con helped us get control of the midfield again. Yes, um, Southampton did have a, a disadvantage in the fact that they had a man sent off. 
but it's never easy in the Premier League anyway. Um, yes, Jorginho helped us um, control the midfield. Mason Mount helped us um, with the press and Ross Barkley helped us with some brilliant passing. And I have to say that the second goal, you have to give him a lot of credit for because that brilliant ball, that the way he spread that ball to Cesar Aspilicueta uh, from an advanced position and that um, that half volley cross from Cesar Aspilicueta to Timo Werner, which saw him tap the ball home, was just absolutely exquisite. That second goal was just absolutely exquisite and we thoroughly deserved it. Timo Werner deserved it because... Um, he was without a doubt the best player on the pitch um, but yes great goal and then shortly after that we got the third it was absolute um, madness in the box Aspel Aquetta hit the post Romelu Lukaku hit the post I mean they both should have scored but the ball fell to Ben Chilwell who just hammers it towards the goal it did look as though McCarthy stopped it from going in and that was my initial thought when I saw that shot but it went um it did cross the line McCarthy did try to save it whilst he was behind the line so it was a goal correct decision and that was game set and match Chelsea and overall thoroughly deserved win I felt as though we were the better team on the day yes Southampton did have their spells and did cause us problems but I did feel as though we got the we got the win which our play deserved we created far far more chances than they did and we really did um we really did restrict the amount of chances in which they could create despite the um the spells in which they had and there's one one more thing that i'm going to mention before i get onto the positives and negatives um how tiago silva got a yellow card for that challenge where he where he clearly got the ball is beyond me but um that's embarrassing it it, it needed to be said but um Anyways, we get into the positives and the negatives that I took from the match. Sorry, I was sitting back a, I was sitting back a lot. Um, anyways, two positives, one negative. The first positive that I took from yesterday's match is the fact that Thomas Tuchel's substitutions um, changed the game for us. Because when Southampton equalised, I was fearing the worst. I thought that Southampton were going to go on to win the game. But Thomas Tuchel changed it. Um, and it won us the game. Simple as that. The second positive that I took from yesterday's match is the fact that we persevered and got the job done. It's just brilliant that we were able to do so, especially when you consider the fact that we um, won the game off the back of on the back of on the back of um, two bad defeats. Yes, they were to two very great sides, but they're still defeats. Um, so it's just great to see the team persevere and get the job done in favour of everyone who follows the club, which is just great to see. I'm so happy for the boys. They really did it um, for they really did it for us and you cannot fault them. Um, and what more can you ask? We move on. Sadly there has to be a negative and the only negative that I took from yesterday's match is the fact that we made some avoidable mistakes. And the one I'm going to highlight is the penalty that we gave away. Um, ben Chilwell should be doing better there. Um, he will learn from it. I'm not going to slate him. I'm not going to go in on... I'm not going to go in too hard on him. But um, that was a poor mistake. But anyways, that is it for my thoughts on yesterday's match. Please do drop your thoughts in the comment section below and I shall do my very best to respond. As always, we shall move on. Now, we finish off this review by getting into my thoughts on how Chelsea are doing or have done um, ahead of the forthcoming international break. And I have to say that it's great that we have managed to get the win um, before going into the international break, especially when you consider the way in which we lost the two games previous to the game that we won yesterday afternoon against Southampton. And I'll say it again, I'm just really proud of the boys for getting the win and for the way they actually managed to do it. Um, Thomas Tuchel came out and said that he um, he he um, he held the... F Sorry, Thomas Tuchel basically came out and said that it was a deserved win. And if he's coming out and saying things like that, then you know that he's got full confidence in the team and he knows that um, he's confident in what he, he's doing himself which is always good because you don't want a manager not being confident in them in themselves. But anyways, 
um, this will be um, a good opportunity for the players to go off with their national teams, clear their minds um, and come back ready to fight for the badge again. And it's also a great opportunity for the players who are absent due to injuries and illnesses to come back and fight for their place in the team. And we've got a great game against Brentford after the international break or straight after the international break. So I do believe that we will need our absentees to be back. I do believe that we'll need our absentees to come back for that one because that is a big game. Um, it's a West London derby. But yes, um, that's all I can give you right now. Um, that is it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I shall see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on you blues. Come on Thomas Tuchel. And peace.